Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, session 25, which is amazing. Uh, it's the 8th of November 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. I am Callum. I play Lord Eric Greenwood, the human sorcerer. What's up, guys? I am Scott. I am playing Combar, a half orc paladin. Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitty Kill, a wood elf rogue. Hello, I'm Stuart. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Excellent. Every Can time I, I just say, I still, I, I still love the fact that Sophie clearly is biting her tongue to say tabaxi. <laughs> I was going to say, it still it just rolls off the tongue like tabaxi rogue. No, no, no. It really no. does, right? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there, like, there's too much words in wood elf. Yeah. Just tabaxi. It's just the one thing. <sighs> I, okay, right. New mission, guys. Find a way to get Kitty changed back. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's just you need to go through. You can't change. It's like that Futurama episode where you can't switch with what you've switched with. So you need to switch all the way around all the other <laughs> races just to get back. <laughs> Everyone else turns into <laughs> Oh, wait. Right, so <laughs> what you're saying is we could literally have other orcs. I mean, you've oh had God, other God. orc, right? <laughs> well, I, uh, like, I also realized just, like, how stupid it was of me just to, like, leave. <laughs> me, you're I drunk. I, like, you're I, I, I really should have, like, you know, found out who she was and stuff. I'm guessing the barkeep would have known with, you know, a ledger of some kind of, you know, bookings. <sighs> you can assume all of that, but... You know, who knows? Um, right. we'll, we'll, we'll revisit that at another. Yeah, Maybe. like let's let's talk about what happened last time, shall we? Who remembers what happened last time? Cromberg <coughs> got laid. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Eric lost all his money and some of Reach's. <laughs> oh my god! Getting Cromberg laid. <laughs> oh yeah. <clears throat> god, that was an expensive woman. I mean, no, she was a very successful woman. Taking money from you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. What else happened? Oh god. Whoa, who's messed up? <laughs> what just happened to the thing? It's okay. <laughs> Sophie's messing with the goal sheet, I think. Or Stu? I don't no, know. not me. Nope. Uh, nope, it's Scott. I didn't do it. I mean, Hit yeah. Control Z. Twice. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Yeah. There we go. Also, Callum, don't think I didn't see that sneaky wee nerd that's hiding. Oh, that's been near. <laughs> don't think I didn't notice. Maybe months. <laughs> By the way, how many glasses of wine did it uh, cost for uh, Crumbar to get laid? Oh. It was, um, Enough. Yeah, I was curious how drunk she was. was <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, no, not she very. Was drunk. She, she nailed it. And well, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, she never. She did like what Nat 20 on every single. Save so she was holding her one quite well. She could probably have went another entire what three or four rounds of the game. She was yeah, legless and um, Kumba was gimli. <laughs> yeah, I feel a slight tingle in my fingers. Yes, um, but anyway, so that happened. Uh, what else happened that wasn't just drinking contest, losing money, and getting laid? I mean, what else really had to happen given that? Actually, that's a good summary. I, I mean, that didn't have to happen. I mean, it did though. Things did happen. Yeah, but I mean, is, is that any really relevant? Depends how you feel about uh, what you would consider relevant. I mean, <clears throat> you did the most amazing and intricate Star Wars plot ever, where uh, you set up trade negotiations. Indeed, and there was no blockade of Naboo. No, 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 no attacks on the princess's life. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she'd be the queen at that point, but yeah. I got double. Yeah, I'm out, guys. Uh, Bye. <laughs> nah, I got double nat twenties on uh, the C. Uh, the the yeah, C. Deception. No, what's it called? That's the one. That's how deceitful it was. Um, never done. Um, yeah. We we took a wee wander. Found uh, found uh, some some culty prick. Who has who, nicely set out some tables and chairs for us that I am going to yeet right at his face. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, so you mean the end of the session, where uh, after you had spoke to the the wonderful princess Justoria for a little bit, you then went on your way to just smash a bit of a uh, Horizon's beautiful plaza. And oh uh, yeah, because oh uh, yeah, that's right, because we teleported there with a uh, hammer teleport. Yep, with the eye of the storm is the name of the weapon. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we teleported somewhere with it. Yeah. yeah. He definitely went somewhere. <laughs> we are somewhere. Yeah. Yes. And then, yeah, you were greeted by a familiar sight. And um, he said, have a seat. I will be with you in a moment. Uh, I think that's where we end it. So what would everyone like the goal to be for this week? Take a seat. Legend guy with chair until HP reaches below zero. <laughs> Who's HP anyone's? Yeah. No, the guy is. Reaches will definitely yeah. get HP. <laughs> yes. When reaches HP hits zero, <laughs> we all get 7,500 XP. But reach has to. Um, yeah. That's an interesting way of setting a goal, isn't it? Where you just decide what XP you get. No, that's not how that works. Um, I don't know. Um, where's, like, the A column and B column? And... The what? Oh, right, okay. What? No, for some reason, my, my um, Excel doc was only showing, like, the goals and completed goals. Hmm. It's fine, I fixed it. I had to move this bar along. <laughs> You're too far to the right. Is this because yeah. you wanted to find the easy, medium, and hard this, like thing, or no? Or is it just? I have else? no. I have no idea. How come I? So bad man. I use Excel at work all day as well. It's okay. It's this it is a a means to an end. So what's our party um, going to be, guys? What's the stop? The, whoever this guy is, from what from. Keeping open the portal or Something whatever. Whatever he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, 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 whatever general It's just bad. that, like, he's going to give his big bad guy speech. You're going to yeah, be like, was, whoever was, you were. <laughs> yeah. Stop bad guy from doing bad guy. I mean, okay. That's an interestingly vague goal. Okay, right. Stop the bad guy from doing his current bad guy activity. Right, okay. What is... I am not good with words. <laughs> so, let's let's just go down the list, shall we? Let's start with Eric. Hello. Hello. What would you like the goal to be? Um, don't die to this strange man. It's a powerful goal, yeah. Noble. Um, don't die. Full stop. <laughs> don't die. You just don't get experience um, for that till you die, though. No. Figure out who he is. Figure out what he's doing. Or learn what he's doing. Learn his name. It's a lot of um. It's a lot uh, of goals. The, the suggestions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all worthy of discussion. Yeah. I love it. He's like, yes. Well, I can't tell you what you want to pick as the goal, right? I can just see if I think things have merit or not to follow up on. Um, find out what <laughs> the bad guy. I'm assuming he's a bad guy. I mean, come on. Point of view. Um, yeah. Find out what he is attempting to do and stop it. Okay. Or just stop what the bad guy's trying to do currently. Interrupt ritual. Hey, bad guy, yes. stop making us tea. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I like, stop I like being what, like generous with your seating. Yeah. I like what Eric said there. Um, which is, what did you just say? Magic. Yeah. <laughs> interrupt, <laughs> in, interrupt this guy's current baddiness. Okay. Guys, someone else chime in here. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> We're really enjoying it. Carry yeah, on. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's golden. Yeah. 
on today's <laughs> session of Keepers of the Golden Gate, here's dumb shit Scott says. <laughs> oh, dear. That is literally just going to be like a bonus fucking episode for like season I was going to say, I'm compiling the, the, the clip reel as we speak. Yeah. Um, no, it's... A lot of that has merit, right? Um, but let's look at it this way. You believe this is the same guy that was in the abyss that was then able to survive getting there to the abyss and then um, at the other hellhole and then you did nothing to him at the other hellhole. So what is not the F trying? Hey, we did do something. We made him run away like them. That's after he'd done what he was wanting to do and was finished. That's just like the point. <laughs> but the, the reason why I bring up what you already know is because there's no point in writing a goal stop the man we can't stop, right? And as mm -hmm. Kitty like, quite rightly says, you did attempt to stop him, so there's nothing, no, no harm in trying. But what has changed since the last time? It's changed. One thing has changed. Well, you're, d you're done a party member, yeah. Uh, that is... Oh, shit. Yeah. My party member has the thing that we need to beat the bald guy. Well, the it depends useless. how useful that would be, given the yeah. fact that you've teleported here and a certain someone who said that she would help you when she's had rest hasn't had time to rest because you literally yeah, stopped be, speaking to her and then teleported. I'd at least be a higher priority target for the bald guy to kill. <laughs> <laughs> at least. If... I mean, if you really want to meta it, what you do is you ring the Justoria bell, you hope <laughs> she's kind enough to try and turn up instead of just pulling you guys away from the problem, right? Yeah. Because, let's face it, right, if you were in trouble yourself, you're not going to risk yourself for a random mooks that you've sent off to investigate these things for you. But, if you somehow manage to convince weakened Justoria to turn up there, right, if she is into trouble, does she summon her dad? Right, mm. who seems to turn up when she's in trouble. So, mm. the person you be pretty good. No, because yeah, yeah. you <laughs> want to avoid him knowing what you are doing. I mean, I'm a homie. It's fine. What was that? I'm a homie with, do, uh, with the wizard gang. It's fine. Uh, I mean, those are words. Yeah. Um, those are words that have been said. <laughs> those are all words <laughs> I recognise. <laughs> yep. Um. <laughs> Yeah, he's not, like, you know, it's a curiosity. It definitely is. I think it'll be interesting to see your take on this, I think, so... I think, right, we we shouldn't aim to try and, like, you know, beat up him when. Probably just find out what it is that he's trying to accomplish. Like, why, are you, why is he, you know, opening up fiery portals of death and yeah so almost like find out what's actually just... happening find out what his goals are <laughs> you there <laughs> let me see your excel sheet <laughs> what are your party goals sir how many have you completed uh, level are you that's when he turns around and says we've completed none my party can never agree on a goal <laughs> ah we say uh, we face a similar issue <laughs> maybe you could combine forces and solve each other's goals Maybe we can just combine forces and fuck shit up. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to help him open hell holes, right? I mean, maybe we'd learn how to close them. I mean, that that, that is true, right? Learning how to smash a window teaches you exactly how to make glass. So, yeah, you're 100% right. Um, well, all I would say is before there was a window, and now I have a pile of glass. So right, yeah, yeah, got more glass than I had before. Only had one piece before. Exactly. Um, uh, Kitty, don't what would you like the, today's goal to be? Artists. Um, well, I think we should find out what he wants to say. We could maybe learn why, and. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if he'd be someone we could actually reason with, but yeah, we'd, we'd learn something basically. I mean, he's given us cheers. Oh, yes, yeah, so generous. He either wants to talk or he just wants us to watch instead. He's like, look, you can't kill me. Just sit down and watch what I'm doing, alright? 
He seemed to be obsessed with me. He like a little fan club following me everywhere. Is 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 this where he's just gonna like pull like out a Deckard cane and just be like stay a while and listen? Oh god! Don't mind the fiery hell portal. Just gonna summon a Lilith. Let's mm. um. Just think it's actually got a guitar behind the seats there for. <laughs> <laughs> and now Wonderwall. <laughs> <laughs> no. <please. laughs> Ryan has to sing it in an accent. Oh yeah, sure. I'll I'll pick my accent and my singing voice. There we go. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. God, this guy sounds so much like Ryan. Thank you. <laughs> He's a very good impressionist. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Stu, reach. What's happening? What's goals? Gold City. Yeah, find out what he wants. Yeah, uh, what? Well, yeah, what his aim is. Cool. So what's what he's up to and what, yeah, what, so why he's. How do you use as a group when I word that as the party goal? What the fuck? <laughs> 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 if what he's doing is the fuck, we wish to know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So the who's, fuck that you are doing? Who's what typing the goal? Well, we'll get cracking. Someone literate, uh, being literate what? with words, not me. And we'll get this. Get this at least <laughs> worded so you can get some sweet sweet um, XP. Because keep in mind, these aren't that far away from the one of the best levels to get to in D and D. I know, I want it so badly. Level five is so fun. Six is even better. Seven? Wow, you have got to get seven. Then. But <laughs> see, hitting level, hitting level six and level seven, even level eight, isn't anywhere near as cool as hitting level five. When you've went through level one, and you're fine. Two, you might get something cool. Three, you usually get something cool by then. Four, you get some stat upgrades or a feat if you want. But five, you just feel like you become like twice as powerful at five, and it's just awesome. If you're Can't a, wait for my play. Ho, ho, ho. yeah, like if you're like a caster, you'll probably get the eight d six move, and it's fiery or lightning form. If you're um. Like, if you're a fighty guy, you'll probably get two attacks as standard. Do you know what I mean? It's just... It's just a good level to get to. Um, How's that? Find out what the baddie is trying to accomplish. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna alter some of this, though. Do we get extra points for eating chairs at him? I mean, that if it's. Five extra XP per G yeeted. <laughs> no. What you might XP get. XP multiplier! What you might get is a. Let's see. Where are we here? I don't know what the red robed mage is trying to accomplish. Good thing I'm not wearing a red robe now. <laughs> yeah, right. Red seems to be bad. That also There's happens. Flying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in my mind, mate, you're just constantly naked, so, so it's just easier that I way. I mean, whatever you want to think. If you want me to be naked in your mind, you do that. So this is character or the real? That's what I'm like, I'm like, well, okay. I mean, who can really tell anymore? Yeah. What? I am not Eric! <laughs> Eric is not me! Well, you say that. Right, Look, so I'm actually good at directions in real life. <laughs> <laughs> are we doing a... No there we go. I've wrote, I've wrote the goal there. Are we happy with that wording? Yeah. We, we could even pluralise that if you really I was want. about to just do that myself there, but yeah. Yeah, I was going to say. I know the first question. What did you try to achieve by opening the hell holes? <laughs> so... He's happy with that then? Or last time to object? Yeah, that's for me. Okay, okay, so find out what the red robed mage is trying to accomplish by opening the hell holes. Okay, okay. Done. Right. Well, I guess we'll just get how difficult that is as we go. Right. So, I think we'll just move to that map then. I've removed Arya for the sake of narrative exclusion. Um, it's not that maybe she, she has... just, Maybe she just hasn't teleported through yet. Well, yeah. she already sent them in the seats. Still in the ball. So still five seats. 
No, she she is um Schrodinger's present right now. <laughs> Schrodinger's druid, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she stopped off at the uh, seven eleven to get some those. So as you fall from the red opening in the sky and hit into the ground. I guess some people can superhero landing it if they want. And yes! yes. <laughs> we all strike a pose. Kumbar's like knelt down with his hammer ready. And then, um, uh, yeah, so you superhero landing in. <laughs> well, you don't. I'm taking the 12, that counts. Above 10. <laughs> so you all land. Um, as I said, a very familiar red-robed, magical-looking person says, Please take a seat. I'll be with you in just a moment. And then it continues to like crackle magic all over the big red pit that you see in front of you. Can yeah. I understand what you're saying? Yes. Because you said, have a seat. I'll be with you in a moment. No, and the crackling. Uh, Roll Arcana. And I'm still exhausted. So... <laughs> Boop! This is going to get me jacked. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, well. No time like the present. I'm going <laughs> to walk my wee self over. I'm a, mm, I'm left-handed, so it's okay, Crumbar. <laughs> Walk over to there, pick up this chair, and lob it at him. Sure. Um, what's your strength score? Uh, six. Sixteen, yeah. Cool. Uh, do you want to just use, I don't know, let's just go for athletics, I guess. God damn it. Oh I mean, God. out of all things to get disadvantage on, right? Yeah. Well, we take the twenty-four and the twenty-four. It's almost like roll twenty. It's like Crumbar, we got you. We we got your back for this. Um, <laughs> right. I feel like I've wasted a good roll. Though. It's yeah. fine. We don't need that chair. There's only four of us at the minute. Yeah. So you throw the chair, whoop, and it disintegrates in the big wall of lightning. Wait, it's a wall of lightning? I'm just gonna walk through this. <laughs> hey, you actually made the chair disappear. Actually, you could do a book, can't it? Mm. Oh my god! Um, I'm gonna... <laughs> I also want to run up to it and put my book in the lightning. Okay, I will. After watching this chair just, you know, poof away. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, just show... it was less like, you know, some kind of gay wizard and more like, you know, actually just disintegrating in a horrible <laughs> wooden scream. Very bad acting. Ah, yeah. Poof, the famous rainbow wizard. Um. Basically, uh, Combar just shouts over to um, Emperor Ming. I don't know. He looks like it. Uh, what are you trying to accomplish here? And he's still like rambling away, moving his arms around, weird sigils appearing in the air, like pulsating power between him and the big flame. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Did even notice that I was like trying to get his attention. If he did, he kept focus forward. He's got his back to you. He's leaning over like a big altar yeah. as well. So the old, if you want as well, I was going to say if you want to, it's maybe easier to give you guys a bit of form, like kind of format. Just want to just roll initiative, yeah. and you can take turns in initiative order, so it's not just utter chaos. A little bit of chaos is fine, but click on your token, roll initiative. Shit. Um, Eric, I was just thinking, see how there's the big blue ball in the middle, and then there's little blue balls, maybe if we'd like break the big one, it'll... There's an easier method. Them. That's one method. Another method is to walk around the shield. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but maybe Ryan just <laughs> couldn't be bothered editing that. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you could think what you like. It's um, all right. Who has a bigger dex modifier? I know that sounds like a terrible thing to say. Between um, the two characters, there. We're both the same. Are you actually? Yeah, we will be. We're both dex primary. So yeah, yeah I've got three. What's my dex modifier? You keep your dex to Kay. yourself. 
Where's the dex modifier? It's the, yeah, it's the big number on the far left. I'll dexterity. Oh, three. Yeah, so these are both three. Do you both just want to roll dexterity for me now? We'll just decide that way. Dexes are both <laughs> equally as big, by the way. That's a Which is... <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, a dex it's save. The, it's not the size <laughs> that matters, it's how you use it. The actual word dexterity. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it as is then. That <laughs> order is fine by me. Apparently your dexterity is yep. bigger than mine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I bet you wish it. You just do that deck, save me. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> dex jokes aside. <laughs> oh dear. Um, right, Eric, you're up. It's not necessarily combat, this is just a way to try and order what you're doing. Yeah. I want to put my book in the lightning. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you get the book out. Yep. You just hold it and put it into the lightning? I'm going to put it on the floor <laughs> and slowly shuffle it over. <laughs> a wee <laughs> tiny corner and no more than that, right? Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Just yep. a little bit in the corner. Okay, yeah. Uh... Roll a deck save. Uh oh. <laughs> oh cool. Oh, damn. Um, the book is destroyed. So. No! <laughs> like, yeah. You nudge it in, and as soon as like the corner of it hits in, you've got like that split second to like pull your kind of sandaled shoe away or your sandaled foot away. Um, as like the lightning like just sparks down and like kind of like wraps over a bit like a net. Um, the book it seems to like crawl between all the chains, the kind of leaf chain thing that went all around it, that glow white hot for a split second and burst into shrapnel as the whole book goes up. Oh. It's what destroyed. Where, where did that book come off? from again? Uh, oh wait, Library. that was a golden orders book. <laughs> Oops. 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 Was that actually? It was yep. from the Library of the Golden Order. It was in the Citadel Library, and it was um, Dane um, De Valfiel, the Valfiel, sorry, the elf librarian. The Lord lost Lord his guy. robe and destroyed his book. This guy not going to like me. Why did they give it to you? Uh, apparently, it was meant for me. Ah, right. Yeah, he was supposed to open it because of his weird tie with the blue eyes thing, and mm. um, now it's broke. No, he's it's, it's been. Like, no, it's, it's more than broke, mate. <laughs> that is gone. That is an ex book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is an ex pet. Just gonna sit down. Just like, oh, it's gone. I yep. didn't know how to read anyway. <laughs> I, I couldn't. It would never open. So, whatever. It's now permanently open. Uh, yep. Uh, cool. Crumbar's done something already. Yeah. Let's go for a key. What's the plan? He's gonna take a seat, I guess. <laughs> As you watch him throw a chair at the uh, the wall, <laughs> and it blows up, and then he throws his book in, and it blows up more violently. I'm just uh, yeah, I'm the uh... yeah. Uh, cool. Reach. I'm still debating. I'm wondering what happens. Oh, luckily I can't do all that movement in one go. <laughs> I'll just move here at the moment. Let's see. Cool. Yeah. How creepy would it be if all the rocks just moved with you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 dun. Uh, right, cool. Uh, yeah, the guy just continues to chant away. The fire gets bigger and kind of slightly red this time. And then, um, yeah. Just burns That's a away. blue ball, by the way, a big one. That's literally what I was. Maybe you at. could use your turn to try and suss that out <laughs> with the skill roll. Is <laughs> it um, kind So it looks a bit like a fountain, right from the bottom up, um, a kind of marbleish looking fountain, um, slightly kind of sandstony coloured, and it is like a big kind of globe of electricity all spir spiring around itself. Hit it with a hammer. So if you wanted to learn something about it, you could uh, maybe roll, roll a wee arcana. I say hit it with your hammer. I mean, it's not charged, so... 
that might charge it. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Do I learn anything? Um, yeah, you do. Not much though, but yeah. So looking at this, it looks like this is one component in a larger ritual. Can I shoot light in that the lightning? Sure. <laughs> that that is quite literally the definition of fighting fire with fire. <laughs> I mean, to burn out the old fire, you need a new fire, right? No, sure. you just leave it alone. I mean, it will continue burning. Water you also helps burn fire, but yeah, never mind. Um, <laughs> like starving it of oxygen, also a good one. You know, one of the best ones. Um, yeah. Um, Call the fire brigade. So, do you want to shoot it with lightning? Don't know. <laughs> okay, but while you're thinking about that, Crumbar, what are you doing? You've watched Eric blow up a book and then stare at a fountain. Um, you've watched Kitty sit on a chair and kind of look at everybody. And you've just watched Reach wander off. He's gone desert mode are... already. He's <laughs> a nomad. <laughs> Are there any kind of like rocks or pish that I can pick are you, up? Are you really? asking me if there are rocks? Yeah, like just at my feet or will I need to go or to where? Depends how rock. big a rock you want. Like a crumbar sized drawing rock. So like a brick? Yeah, basically <laughs> I'm going to go over to this wee rock pile, pick up a rock, come back over here and lob it at the blue ball thingy. Hey, hi, sure. Does that Roll? Blue ball thingy looks upset. What am I rolling? A uh, ranged attack, throwing weapon, I don't know, just, just hit strength. Strength will do. <laughs> just... Yeah. You're not proficient with this, so... Uh, is this, <laughs> with is this class is this classed as a saving throw? No, technically it's an attack roll. Okay. Whee! Uh, Crap. You, you miss. Um, so what happens, it's not that it, the fountain somehow dodges out the way, it's just when you throw the brick at it. Um, the brick My just accuracy. It, it, no, it just it breaks up in the electrical kind of bu bubble thing that's going on. Ooh. Okay. Maybe not quite as violent as the, the big wall of lightning. Hmm. So, while you ponder that, Kitty. Um, to be fair, there's just not much you can really do. I, mean, I guess I'll try and get the guy's attention, but I don't know how if throwing shit at the Barry is not going to work. It just, depends what, like... it just depends what you actually want to achieve, though, right? So. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I honestly haven't got a clue. I just am all for watching yep. people try and fail. It's kind of amusing. <laughs> well, keep in mind, right? So, if there's anything, obviously, you want to do, there are skill checks that you can do. Or if you've got abilities you want to use, you can use them. Or speaking, you know, out loud at things. You could talk to each other, right? You know, you could try to formulate something. Um, what's... are these just statues? That's a way to get attention. No, no Scott. About... <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. Are these these human-looking statue things? Mm -hmm. uh, can I investigate them and see what they're made of? Or was it just literally stone? Um, if you're glancing at them, it's perception. If you actually take some time to like walk over to them and look at them, you could do an investigate. Mm -hmm. uh, investigate. I need my glasses. That was rubbish. Yeah, like the... They're 15 foot tall statues that have been kind of worn down by time. Um, yeah. So they look quite, like, almost featureless. Um, look humanoid for the most part. Um, mm. But 
possibly could have been elven, could have been really, really tall halflings. Like, you know. But yeah, the yeah. big big fifteen foot statues that seem to be um that one that you're standing next to is standing. Um the other one is like crouched down. Yeah. As I was thinking. Um but again, very little detail on them. Uh, that's what I had though. And they just look like stone. Yeah. Uh, reach. I'm going to continue down round here. That's my movement. Can I see any lightning carrying on past there at all? Any? No, it seems to stop on that last pillar. Pick up a stone. Okay. And and throw it just due north. So just as if, like, you know, from where you are. Testing. Like yeah. that way to see if the fence is still electric here or not, or if exactly, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Toss a stone that way. Nothing seems to happen. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do something really stupid. <laughs> Bye, Reach. This is the end of Reach. Yeah. Fairly. <laughs> I can't quite go close enough, but that's all my movement. So right. Go in there and just yeah, and turn. Hello. <laughs> yeah. So as you get to there, come up. Yeah. All right. Dying. I need a deck save. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Somebody grabs the leg. Worst one ever. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, and it Hi, is Rick. this. Uh, 13 fire damage. Have points of lost. <laughs> uh, okay. It's just from the Roaring Inferno. Yeah. Turns out that's, that's way awesome. hotter than it looks. Yeah. It is fine. But then you can finish moving your distance. Um, this just is like fire. It's still hot. There or something? It was there. Yeah, I think so. It was there. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like burnt up your side. You did crit two of them, did you? That's typical. Isn't it? I know. I crit all of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> typical. I know. It's a good sign of things to come. Mm. So, I think you we're, say back that. To, we're back to Eric. Okay. Unless Reach is saying anything to this dude while he's mumbling away in some weird language. Oh, the, no, actually, no, I won't. I won't. No. Yeah, he does seem like focused quite mm. significantly on that. Um, Eric. This guy's like not paying attention, so I'm going to go loud. I'm going to thunderclap right next to his finger as well to maybe hit it. Okay. How thin of a line is thunderclap? It's um, thunderclap is the everything around him five foot one. Jeez. Right, that's okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Get a bad roll out of the way. Get him out of the way. Get him out of the way. So, not even gonna roll against that. Just nothing. Just nothing happens except there's that loud 100, 100 foot boom. <laughs> Some of the sand kicks up, I guess, um, off the road, so that part of the road looks cleaner, I guess. Um, <laughs> Does he does he not turn around? Nah, he's he's busy. He's full on, full on summoner mode. But looks at things. Son of a bitch. Kromba Dinabuk. Now that I am closer, can I try listening to what he's saying and see if I can understand it? But are you speaking in Inferno? Might be an idea. I yeah. mean, I don't think you are much closer, unless you mean since when you get dropped out of the the hole in the. The ceiling. Yeah, yeah. But, um, um, ceiling's not the word I wanted there, but that's fine. Do I, do I at least know if it's infernal or not he's talking? Uh, yeah, it's not infernal. It's not? Nope. Hmm, okay then. That ruins that plan. Next plan! See Mr. Man holding his head mm -hmm. like he has a hangover. Mm -hmm. Is the lightning coming out of him or is there like that pillar? 
the lightning coming out of. Yeah, there's like a little weird stone thing in front of each of them. The lightning comes from that. Okay, you know. Does the pillar thingy look like it can be broken? What, the little kind of thing in front of them? Yeah. I mean, yeah. all things look like they can be broken, right, Crumbar? That is true. <laughs> I am going to go over here and I'm hammers. going to hit it with my hammer. Yeah. Try and break and it. Breaks. So, yeet! Oh. Deck save, please. Mm. Is your saves at disadvantage as well? I don't think they are. It's a ten no, yeah, level. I'm, 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 they're not of exhaustion still. Yeah, one level is only like ability check, so. Is that not an ability check? Nah, saves are like third level. Exhaustion. What ones are ability checks? Is that like your acrobatics Skills. and things? Yeah. yeah. Right, okay. So, yeah. normal. It's decks, okay, it's, yeah. it's been done. You've got a 10. It's just because you had it clicked still. Right. Cool, yep, your hammer is destroyed. <gasps> For fuck's sake. And let me see what happens to you. It is. Let's see. Considered a stronger weapon. <laughs> May it's only four lightning damage you take. So the hammer to the finger hit him for a start. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, can I just pick the, the, the pillar yeah, up? It's four. No way. Yeah. So take your four damage. How come he only gets four? <laughs> so he doesn't walk into a giant fire? Yeah, I was going to say, because I didn't walk right beside the burning Classic. inferno. Also, the things you're walking through, Stu, is. I don't, are you a barefoot monk? Because it's probably super nah, gross. Nah, I've got, uh, what do you call them? Uh, Sludge proof wellies. Well, it's, well, it's, it's, because <laughs> <laughs> it is like, it's definitely like maybe, I don't know, shin deep sludge that seems to be cooking slowly. Mm. Yeah, what you're walking That's through nice. is not, it's, it's super gross and crunchy and yeah. Barbecue, but not as we know it. Right? Yeah, it probably smells great, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, so you take your damage, your uh, Warhammer is destroyed. So. Can you. I just. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just cry? I mean, I feel like you, you threw a chair at it, you watched a book that was magically protected get destroyed by it, and then you hit it with a hammer. Oh, I didn't hit the lightning with the hammer. I hit the pillar with. It. Yeah. It's almost like it's protected. It's almost like I'm pissed off. Mm -hmm. I love while this is happening, the reach has just walked past. Though. Like, just went the long way around. Like, mm -hmm. oh, they just actually stop. <laughs> Kitty, what's the plan here? Well, I'm going to go sit my book back down <laughs> because, well, everyone seems to be getting things destroyed. If it's not an item, it's their health. <laughs> yeah, like people aren't doing so good. It's, um... I'm starting to think that he's got the right idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been 25 sessions. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. Um, so. Yeah, that ends my turn. <laughs> Reach. Right, stupid move number two. <laughs> right. Well, four total, but two for you maybe. Yeah, yeah. Punch his content. <laughs> Behind him, I want to throw him directly uh, west. Assuming up is north, but yeah. I want to try and pull him and throw him left as far as I can. Cool. You get stopped when you get this there. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Balls. Yeah, it is a... Dong shield thing. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, um, let me just put it visually for people so that they can see. Is it around him like a five foot radius or something? Two seconds. 
let's say where are we? Or two, or one, I think it's or one. See if is it or one? You can see that and uh, yeah, so you kinda get stopped as you go to go into it. Boom. So I guess you're you're still where you are. <laughs> and then you see a smirk. Um like as he's kind of still rambling away, hands casting in the air. I guess it's time for a seat, to be honest, right? See one of my water skins? Mm -hmm. When it poured it over myself as a, a... Yeah, like a heat deterrent thing. Return, heat deterrent, yeah. You, like, you could also, while you're there, if you wanted, you could roll a, a perception or an investigate on what you're walking through if you really wanted. I don't think so, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> like, I'm a good looking up, not down. Rather not. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah but that's fine, yeah. If you want to head back... Um, yeah. You can um, skirt closer, like obviously, yeah. you don't need to going go that way, yeah, if you want. Going that way, and going, yeah, yeah. that way, and, but hold on a minute, where was it, there, yeah. so that's 25. So you've gone there, then there, then there, then there. Yeah, 25 to the corner, ain't it, right. So we're 30 and to where I am. Uh, I don't know, where are you? There, that's 30. Yeah. That's 30, yep. Based on not walking through a pillar, yep. <laughs> 20 to there, so that's my 50. Yep. I'll go for another seat as well. Uh, 30 foot, no, that's 10 too much. I mean, you can sit in the seat if you want. I'm not really going to do right. super strict, we're not in combat or anything, so. Yeah. You've just kind of revealed Head the guy's got a shield as it shivers yeah. there, and the heat mirage yeah. makes it show up. Cool. Um, and then there's a massive rumble on the ground. Very strong rumbling. And uh, the uh, plate and the heat uh, cracks away in front of him. And from the fire a figure emerges. A big giant demon bust. Yes. I mean, as far as fiery wasp demons go, he's quite attractive. So but yeah, he's got some. His cheekbone game is strong. Um, he's got a firebird on him. Yep, yep. Um, so it seems to be some kind of weird, like, combination of like smoke. And when you kind of look a wee bit closer through the fire, it does seem to be, like, made up of these little firefly things that have come from it. I've popped the, the thing into the chat on Discord. It's a high fire. Yeah. So that comes through. And then um. the, the red robed man turns around, kind of bows, and kind of turns around to everybody and says, Behold, the herald! Oh, that's not good. Prepare the record. <laughs> Are we still going in the turn order, Ryan? Or? Depends. What do you want to do? I want to go sit down. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll just look up then and go the Herald of what exactly? And uh, the Red Robe Man turns around and says, The Herald of the King, of course. So you work for the king? We are all servants of the king. And he smirks at you. Speak for yourself. Which king? There's many kings. Like we're in Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Does not respond to your Game of Thrones comment. Um, <laughs> yeah, the right. wizard king. Yeah. You see him like sneer at that. Uh, and he says, the one true king, the king of hell. Ah, I'll work for him. <laughs> <laughs> and then this hovering mass of swarminess lands, just steps right through this guy's bubble. This mm. is so breaking it. 
something tells me this is a very bad guy and we should not fight him. Yeah, it's so like he just literally walks through it and it just like breaks the, the bubble as he does so. Is he gonna kill the dude? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. To ask him if I slap him at least, then it'd be a yeah. possibility. Yeah. Um, before, before, before he gets a chance to, you know, assimilate this guy, uh, I'll just shout over. So, who, who are you, and what is it that you've been doing with these portals? Yeah, doesn't have time to respond to you because he's too busy, obviously, having dealt with the fact that his globe of invulnerability just got shattered by this guy walking near him. And he bows deeply and very graciously with like his robes hung out to the side with his arms, like almost dabbing as he leans down. <laughs> and he um he says, Go forth, Herald. And the thing bursts into a big kind of cloud and zooms away. Just just flies away. As a big swarm. Huh. Where did, where is he going? Like up and away into the sky. No, no, like sorry, I'm doubting that towards him. North, south, east, west, is he? Oh, right, sorry. It just, it, it, so what is it, Crumbar shouts after that then? In fact, yeah, so uh, where have you sent him? And he turns round and he kind of walks right up to, like, the, to the electricity. And he's like, what makes you think I can give the Herald commands? You just did? He laughs and he's like, Direction and commanding are very different. You should know that, servant. I just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> How about you drop this barrier and call me a servant again and see what happens? Well, you are though. <laughs> so, um, he smirks again because that's his, that's his thing. And, uh, let's see. Can I do this without wrecking every other token on here? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so, all of the electricity, which I don't know if I can actually click on. Let's see if I can do this. This would be a miracle of map making. Let's see if it, all of this will work. Aha! Yeah. The orbs can stay because fuck that. Um, <laughs> so, let us officially go into combat. Do they want to roll for combat now? They should have. Oh my god! <laughs> God, we're all oh terrible. <laughs> Think <laughs> too much my Speak 20. for yourself. It's ridiculous. My eight puts me second. By the way, that's oh, out of odds. <laughs> completely. I mean, Kitty both just completely <laughs> unsurpassed that. Well, we're all doing well. well we're all <laughs> all doing well. Ah oh dear. Right now I'm just thinking I'm So let me just uh, fix I the turn order, descending. So yeah, he mutters something, uh, waves his hand over the orb that like just sparks away. The fountain just stops being electrical and all of the follow on effect of the electricity fades away. It's right. nearly could be good if you could throw Crumbar your hammer, by the way, just... Uh, he wouldn't be able to I... use it. Yeah, he's not attuned to it. He could not use it as, as a hammer, just not as a magic hammer. Uh, everything would be at an, disadvantage a... because the hammer wants to be with Eric. I've got a hand axe mine still. Oh, even if you don't want to be. <laughs> well, don't worry, I've got oh. a plan. That was so emo. <laughs> I mean, I've got a golden order crowbar if you need one. <laughs> <laughs> the wheels! I wonder where you got that. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Just as you throw it until it disappears. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm surprised you don't use any fire, like the lightning to smell any of it. So, time. yeah, he does that thing where he gestures towards the, yeah, um, yeah. the thing and then he says to you, my work here is finished. 
I can play for a time. And smirks at you. Then obviously the combat music kicks in. Dun 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 dun. Etc. Well, I'll just shout <laughs> back then. It's like, well, you're playing art games now. Um, would I be able to equip... That's okay, you're ahead of them, just so you know. So if I can narrate this correctly, would I be able to equip my shield and my hand axe at the same time? Uh, it's an action to equip your shield, and part of your move could draw your hand axe. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, yeah, you can do that. Then I would be able to attack him with her. Correct. Okay, right, V on the shield. I'm going to run run up towards him. Okay. Well, uh, drawing. No, why, are you, no, why am I even. Well, pulling my hand axe out, my wee, my wee belty pouch, you know, uh, all um, Batman style. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ryan hit him in the face. And I missed. So, you swing in with your axe. Um, you got to smack him with the axe, and as you do so, he just kind of like puts up a hand um, to the side as if he's voguing, and it kind of like <laughs> the axe hits off of the the hand, and you see like this kind of like red kind of shimmer over his hand, and he kind of like bats the axe away, um, and just looks at you, and says, "Penis, is that the best you have, servant?" <laughs> Ryan, I'm a kick. I, I know. I mean, it's not me. The, it's not I know me. You, I know you made the character, but by God, if you're punching in the face right now. <laughs> With love. I'm not twitching for anyone else. How do you mean twitching? Like, like everything's just like, like having a little wiggle. No. Are you on about the wee orbs? No, everything's wiggling. The rocks, the stone people, we are. Put no, the drugs people. down, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Um, Reach as you're going, you'll be, oh my god, he's freaking out. Mm, that's, yeah, okay. Sitting is considered pro and dissociational. Right, that's okay. It's half moving to get uh, there anyway. Exactly. So. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I wasn't worried, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you just monk right. your way in. Yeah, and I punch him. Uh, Cool. Holy shit! I hurt myself punching him. Oh, so again, <laughs> his his hand, the like the the left hand that he's got the block to the axe that swung in from Crumbar's like right swing, um, like he just moves his hand just over to the other side as you kind of blur your way towards him, and a uh, like your hand hits off his palm with that red shimmer, um, so you don't ever make contact. Are you doing anything else as a follow up? Because you you can right. Good point. Another punch, because it's still a punch. Right. Yeah. Right, cool. Exact same again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. That's a bit better. Please tell me. So, bring your other, obviously, fist up. Um, obviously, yeah. you've su sufficiently distracted him. Um, yeah. Roll damage. Cool. Six damage. Cool. I will add this in. Uh, Hmm. Two seconds to work out. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So yeah, are you going for like his face? I take it like you've went for the like into the face the first time. He's blocked it, and then your other kind of hand swings around and hits him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As you punch in, it's like hitting a stone jaw. Mm. Oof. So while that looks like it could have uh, done more damage than it should have. It did not quite do as much damage as you would have liked it to. He does not use oil of Yule. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, it's you could just say that he's got a sneaky things on the go. <laughs> right, uh, anything else from our monk man? No, that's okay. Yeah. But I do like the visuals of like him like moving his hand to block one of them, and then not just can't quite see the how fast the other hand is. Stupid speed yeah. of the monk. Um oh good okay, Kitty. Well so uh, have to stand up yeah. and then yeah. Yeah. The rest of your infinite movement. 
<laughs> Even without being tabaxi anymore. <laughs> um, can I shoot from here, or will I hit reach? Um, I mean, you're only twenty five foot away. No, you're fine. Yeah, but I mean, like line of sight kind of thing. Nah. So, um, yeah, should be away. Yeah. People don't really uh -huh. do that. It's only if um, see the herald was a two by two, which is a large size, um, and yeah. like. You sometimes just can't see through them, or they provide like lots of cover bonuses, um, depending okay. on what it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I will equip my hand crossbow. What was the prize? I mean, I'm I am shock. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? It's like I never use it. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Hits off his shoulder, pings off, red shieldy effect, no damage. Damn. Yeah. Um, can I use my juggler's dagger? You would need to have that drawn, and then you would need an action to use it, if that makes sense as well. So, oh, okay, so I couldn't just like do a fluid motion of just pulling it out of the... <laughs> no, because as part of your move you pulled out your crossbow. Yeah. So that was your drawing a weapon. You could now draw that on your next turn and move it and stab him. And yeah. still shoot him because of your two abilities. Yeah. But you can't right, throw it and shoot yeah. him, if that makes sense. But yeah. next time you can draw it and still shoot him and then stab him if you're within melee range. Well, I can throw it. Or you could stab draw it then. next turn and throw it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, yep. I will do that. Right. So, like, looks very dismissively at the fact that his shoulder got plinked with the, the thing. The kind of bolt. The golden bolt. And what's he going to do? What's the best thing to do? Uh, there's a crazy magical man. Probably... None of those, because those are way, way OP. He's probably just going to grab... Bar. Yeah, he looks like the kind of guy who likes monks, so he's unlikely to hit a monk. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Stu! Um, Whoa, what's this monkey business? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, oh. Good one, Callum! See, no favoritism. <laughs> uh, right, this is against uh, Crumbar. He's also got advantage on this because Crumbar is wearing armor made of metal. So, bam. It's Magneto we're against. However, I don't think any of them hit you. <laughs> nope. So what is your AC without your shield? I've not got my shield on. That's why uh, I asked without it, yeah. 18. Dear God, I forget you're wearing plate. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so it just reaches out, grabs onto your armour, and then you, whatever it is you do, you manage to break the connection. Um, as, you see, as you see all of the electricity like shoot out of his hand and just like spark into the air um, and just fills the air between you and um, so maybe just like a little kind of flash of kind of bluish reddish light mm. um, but yeah um, let's see two seconds nope that's it cool done uh, he is going to Happily, pass his turn on to Eric. I stand up, brush myself down, and with my level two, wait, hang on, my level two um, witch bolt, I'll fire it directly at him. So, you, you don't have line yeah. of sight on him. Wait, what? Okay, I'll move. Slightly. I, I thought since the orb gone, it'd be like fine to shoot him. That was very, it was a very tall phone. I go here. Wait, how much move do I have? 15? Uh, yeah. Actually, that, that, north one, that one just going Jewish, that should still uh, give him line of sight, should it not? Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. Okay, yeah no, I'm that's here. fine, yeah. That's fine, yeah. I just didn't want to draw the line of sight blocking this over the fountain because then you don't get to see the beautiful art that is the fountain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. 
Now can I use the 15 or do you want me to re-roll? No, you can use the 15 if you want, yeah. It hits. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Level 2! Cool, is that oh. 14 total? Um. Oh my god! Uh, right, that two, that's two one. Is that two ones? No. It is? Or is it just one? It's a d12, right? So it's only an extra... No, it is in fact two ones. Dear God. Yeah. I'm going to use a sorcery point to, uh, um, to re-roll them to... Is it the spell's level in sorcery points or just one to re-roll? Just a one. One times one, d12. Yeah, uh, yeah. Cool. Yep, that's fine. Yep, I think I asked you this before, but I probably will keep asking you this every single time we do this. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to roll two d12s. So you're spending uh, a sorcery point to do it using my meta magic empowered spirit. Sorry, you use it. Are you rerolling just the one of them or both of them? Both of them. I was going to say yeah, because there's no reason not to. Yeah. Cool, so it's um, 21, is that right? Yeah, 21. 21 damage, let's see. Die. And I'm concentrated. Yep, so the electricity sparks into him, um, starts like channeling into him, and like it seems like a lot of it's getting lost to this red energy that's around him. Yeah, but he definitely got hit by that. It's undeniable. He's got like one hand out holding up the, the impact of the electricity. The one that was probably blocking reach, that obviously only half worked. Um, and the other hand that's like kind of pulled back after having tried to clutch at Crumbar. Uh, Crumbar! Um, so before I take an action, I just saved him. Uh, so before I send you to meet your king, what is your name? He um, grins and he's got like these weird black, like almost shiny teeth on his mouth as he smiles, kind of grimaces. You see like the kind of sparks of the electricity hitting him um, as he grins and he says, Simple barbarian. Names have power. You may not be familiar with the concept. And um, I string my axe at him and go, and I, when I do, <laughs> I know very, very good reaction. So, see, before when you I, do this, yep. think what you can do as a paladin that you so often don't do as a paladin. Oh, anything as a paladin you don't do, but yeah. <laughs> he has healed you a big... lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as a lot, but yeah. Me as him has healed you a lot, okay? Yeah, <laughs> once, I, do, but, yeah. I do have command. No, I, mean, I meant things are that aren't. About... Just other, anything else, really, that isn't command. So we've got healing command. Are you command. on about um, divine sounds? Nope. Oh. Your spell list, look at your spell list, because you never seem divine. to use them. Divine Smite or something? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I was going to use Divine Smite if, if, if you know, if I attack him. Do I need to use that before you actually attack? What does it say? Um, when you hit a creature with a melee weapon, you can expend uh, one spell slot to deal radiant damage to the target. Okay, so that's so, your ability from being a paladin, but look at your spell list. Right, so further do down. Do, do, do. Unless you Bless. traded them all out, which I don't think you did. Because you've got spells that you can put on yourselves as a buff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Shield of Faith and st Not just that. Uh, right, so I'm going to start ca cascading some of these, or closing some of them back down, right? So let's just close some yeah. of them back down. Leave leave the one open that you're on about. If you're on about bless, I've already thought of that, but I don't have a thing to use it. What thing? There, I opened the one. 
Ah. Right. It's casting time. It's up to a minute. Mm. <coughs> it does extra damage. So it is. Is he going to put his uh, axe on fire? Yeah. So it's an option. I just want you to be fully aware these are things ah, you can do. That's a yeah, that's a bonus. Actually. So yeah, that's things you can do. It's entirely up to you what you want to do on your turn, but obviously you might only have certain action economy. Yeah. So I don't know what All it right. costs to do your um, your divine smite. I don't know what that cost you to do. Um, divine smite is just hit the guy. Yeah, so in theory you could do both. And in theory then, let's do roll with that. So, right, let's get a bit more spell crazy. Gonna use my bonus a action to cast Searing Smite on my... I am my shook. <laughs> um, so Is that the one on your main page? Click on bio for me, or core. You uh, not bio core. Core is what I really mean. Core. Um, nah, it's not in there. It's fine. Cool. Carry on. No. So gonna do that and go. I'm not a barbarian. I'm a fucking paladin. And swing my axe at his face. Cool. Pip yourself with I don't know some. <laughs> I'm clearly fuck. There we go. We've got an orange color. There we go. You can be orange. <laughs> Uh, and it's concentration as well. And it's up to a minute, which is like so many rounds. So let me add that in. So it's. Um, Are you doing it or will I? I'll add in searing, but you need to pip yourself with concentration. Alright. Uh, oh. Searing's my. Oh. It's a minus one. Add that in. What oh. is one minute in rounds? So that's something like. something ridiculous, like 10? Is it 10? I think it's 10 rounds. Sounds about right. Yeah. Six seconds around. Uh, yeah, so 10 rounds. We'll dump that at the end of the order. Yeah. There we go. Okay, okay. So, cast Searing Smite. What does that look like? Because it's just you having to say some, some magical word. Probably draconic. Probably. Yeah. Um, whatever the draconic is for flame, and then the. I think every word in draconic also could mean flame. <laughs> bah! <laughs> um, <laughs> then uh, there is now just like a kind of really like a white hot, like white intense heat, like light coming off of the axe head. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. This looks like some kind of amazing, kind of glowing holy buff over the thing, mm -hmm. like kind of like kind of like almost whitey golden kind of color to it. Um, kind of leaves a cool trail. You can write crumbar in the air if you wanted with yeah. it as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh, it's a sparkler. But like a holy draconic sparkler. Um, right, so you cast that with your bonus action. Uh, yeah, and then I swing and miss. Because I rolled this, so that is a miss. Uh, I don't actually see any dice rolls. Does anybody else see a dice roll? No. no. So no. Yeah. I mean, I I haven't rolled. So what about the? Please tell, please tell me you see that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yay! Mm -hmm. It hits. So, as it hits, I'm also then going to... Wait a minute, it's as if you're going to do something else. What? It's as if you're going to do something else that we're discussing. Uh, right. Will I roll damage for the hand axe first? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do with everything so far, right? right? So, yeah. So, it, there's a cheeky wee nine. I mean, I see what? nothing. Yeah, I see nothing. Seriously? Correct. Yep. 
Like genuinely, what else do people run in the background? Because it it, there's it a, seems to there's like a, right. So there's yeah. the eight, eight, eight slashing right, and then what else yeah. have we got to do for searing smite? So uh, for searing smite, it's uh, an extra d6 fire damage. Just a one d6, yeah. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, d6. Oh, nice. Cool. Saw that one finally. Yep. Right, so um, I'll go, I'll work my way through this as we as we go. Right, so we've done slashing, which is that, and then we'll do the fire, which is that. And when you hit a creature with a melee attack, you can expend one spell slot to you to deal radiant damage to the target in addition to the weapon damage. The extra damage is a two d eight from a level one slot, so I will use another spell slot. If you click uh, on it, just to put it into the chat for folks. Um, it's going to use Divine so, Smite. Um, why is it letting... Let me use you... Uh, we'll try it from the... If you minimise it and then click on the button from the... You should just click on its name if you do that. Ah, right. But, there you go. That's what you want. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I should use nice. this pish more yeah. often. Right, mark off a spell <laughs> slot as well. Make sure you do yeah, so. Yeah, I've done that, so I've only got one left. But it was well worth it, right? Yeah, I'm good with that. I mean, I do. Who, who needs hammers, right? <laughs> when the axe is there. Don't, don't! Too soon, Ryan! Too soon! Um, Seems like you've proper axed a hammer. Oh god. Um, um, right, so how this looks then, right, we've got, you know, you screaming draconic at your axe, why aren't you a hammer? And then it bursts into flames out of sheer, like, anxiety. <laughs> you swing the thing at him, um, you, you, like, catch him on fire, he, obviously, his robes start to burn, and then you just scream more at it in draconic, and then it just bursts into, like, the white gold flame to burn him even more. Or however Crumber wants that to look. Well, how I was thinking was as I swing my axe, um, the flame on the ha axe just goes like supernova. So when it hits him, it's just like, hmm, searing, lovely. Uh -huh. um, and then after that hit, it's almost like there's like a like a kind of phantom hit mm -hmm. from an un like you know from like a holy source of divine man mentalness basically god punches him in the face yeah it's almost like as you swipe at it with it, it's almost like you know a dragon wing or a dragon claw or something swipes yeah. behind as like a secondary effect yeah and like yeah and then it just knocks him on his ass <laughs> I mean, sadly it doesn't, but he does, um... It knocks him on his ass! I don't think it says that anywhere. Um, no. Doesn't... Doesn't say that, no. Um... Uh, but yeah, he is, he is on fire, though, so that's something. Probably he's on fire, being much. electrocuted. Knocks baddies on ours. <laughs> Um, just, uh, yeah, okay, so I guess I'll end my turn. Just do that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, right. Ryan? Yep. I think my character's gained sentience. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> um, right, anything else? God, that was really mean, sorry. Um, but, anything else, but, guys? If, if, if that's Crumbar, then who am I? <laughs> uh, I think that's everything you could possibly have done. Uh, yep, pretty much. Reach. So you've just seen how effective Crumbar can be with an axe. Yeah. Which is quite significant oh, just... compared to his hammer. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty tiny. Good, well done. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to punch him again and miss. And then I'm going to <laughs> run away a wee bit. And uh, do a rating blow. Cool, yep. That hits. Whatever. It does. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, seven damage. 
That's good for me. That's right, cool. That hurts to my wee bit, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, like, as, like, you go to punch, like, through this fiery red-robed man, this, this hand comes out and, like, grabs the fist to stop the punch as you pull back. Like, as maybe as you're, like, running backwards, you fire the fist of light. Like, again, maybe inspired by Crumber's radiance, you know, you shoot a radiant bolt in to the fire and yeah. it just gets, like, it just consumes him as well. If it damaged him, it's hard to tell, given the fact that the guy's covered in golden light fire. Yeah. Upset some a wee bit anyway. Yeah, maybe, but it definitely. I mean, mechanically, you see it do damage. So yeah. that that's something. Um, Kitty. Uh, yeah. Unless Intern. Reach has anything else. No. Yeah. Intern. That's me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm going to just move here, and then I'm gonna take my juggler's dagger out and throw it at him. Yeah, sure. And I call it back to myself. Cool. So, move, pull out, throw dagger, smacks off his armor, shimmering, shieldy, fieriness, and mm. uh, use your bonus action to pull it back. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so Does I get, she also get a second attack because he's engaged or something. Nope. Uh, that works. Um, so. Yeah. Dagger goes out, kind of gets batted to the side um, in this fiery mess of a man, and then it was, as you see it kind of go wide, you just kind of like reach your hand out, and the thing just shimmers away, and then like shimmers into your hand again. Because that dagger is pitching, that's why. Yup. I can't believe it took me so long to actually be able to use it. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, I have this thing I throw and it comes back to me. Uh, cool. Anything else you want to do? Uh, no. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> cool. Um, consumed in both fire and rage. Um, let's see. I think you work out when. So, fire to the target causes target to the play. Start of each of its turns until the spell ends. Makes a con save. On the field save, it takes 1d5. Right, so let's do a con save. Uh, what is your spell save DC, Cronbar? It's on your spells page at the top. Uh, spell page. Uh, 12. I was going to say it would not have mattered. I've got 20. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <coughs> so, bye bye, concentration. No, no. That's not on that. No? No, no. It's just on the fire. The effect of your searing smite is that it burdens people every turn. Oh, right, okay, right. So it does fi uh, 1d6 extra damage and causes them to ignite into flames. On each of their turns, they have to make a con save, and if they fail it, they take 1d6 damage of fire, because they're burning. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, learn your spells, guys. Learn them. They will help keep you alive when your healer's off listening to music. <laughs> Hashtag Arya is precious, let's keep her alive. Hashtag Mistress of the Flame. Um, <laughs> right, so I guess you just see the thing like stand, the, like, the red mage man stand there, like clench both of his fists and all the fire just seems to go out and like you see that kind of red energy shimmer over him as if he's breathing in the fire and uh, he smirks again at Crumbar um, let's see yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't do this, he's just going to grab Crumbar again just kind of Grab him by the chest and go. Ooh. Ow! So he grabs you. Oh, how he grabs you! And Ooh. eighteen lightning. And you can't react. Oof. Yup. What does it mean? It means you can't take reactions till the start of your. Your next turn. Um, okay, okay. Uh, how does that look? Like as you kind of like all this electricity course through you, like squeezing your muscles. Um, you know the scene from Home Alone. Mm -hmm. Basically, that. <laughs> <laughs> I think any scene uh, right, I need just kind of. You see. 
see Crumbar kind of just like literally just same way anyone would be when they get electrocuted, like almost kind of paralysis look. You see me, in my, my knees going weak and there's just sparks coming off of me because of like my armor being metal and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like sparking all between like the armor residually. Um, it's a concentration check, which is it's higher than 10 now because it's half of the damage taken. Right, no wait, so that's fine. No, it is, it's, ten, it's 10 then, right, because half of 18 is 9. Like, I just can't count. So, DC 10 con check. From your uh, combo. Uh, um, uh, that's just straight up constitution. A con it? save. A con save. I know, so I said con check, but yeah, I meant con save. Uh, so, this will be rolling with disadvantage then. Cause There's no disadvantage, uh, no. No, it's not. It's sharp. Yep, don't worry. Yeah. Well, you kept you made your save. That's fine. That's fine. You don't lose concentration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC ten, uh, remember? So DC ten. Yeah, sorry. Yep. So your your flaming axe stays flaming. Um, mm. It's just because you took damage. That's all. Uh, and then he, let's see, where does he go? Where can he go? Starts walking. As you're like fighting the the electrical charge running through your armor. Mm. His red robes kind of kick up behind him as he looks dramatic. Uh, Eric. Um. walk you. I love and, how and the entire time though there's an, a ribbon of electricity between the two of you. Yep. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get hit him with the uh, lightning again because it's still on him. Mm -hmm. Right? Another 8 damage. Anything else? Ah, we good. Cool. Grumbar Dedebeck. Oh. Alright. I guess I'm gonna need to just go over to him. So, go in the... Ah, I'm in. Ah, I'm in. Yeah, he's not that far away. So, I'm gonna have a wee go over. And uh, um, hmm. As I run over, I just shout to him. It's like, so is this all? You, so is so is this all your plan? Do you want to say it again? Because I think I lost you there. Other, oh, still losing you. So you walk so, over and you say I, to him. I, as I kind of jaunt over to him, um, I go, so is this your goal, just summoning in other entities? Yeah. He kind of stops on the spot, kind of turns around and goes, oh, you're still breathing. Huh. <laughs> and axe gets swung as I scream, fuck you. Take it that doesn't hurt. Can't see anything anyway. I'm just wondering why you ain't Seriously? healing yourself. Because? I don't need right now. Okay. I, I tried, guys. I tried. Um, Didn't you not see that roll? Nope. Nope. Uh, we see eight lightning. That's all. What about that roll? Nope. Are you just saying you're rolling? Just no, you I've rolled did. a 14 and then I've rolled a 9. What about this one? Ah, uh, one we see 14. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I've rolled another. 
Yeah, so you swing in the axe and he just bats it away with his hand. And as you, um, like, obviously scream like fuck you in orcish as you swing <laughs> the hammer around and he bats it away with his hand. He kind of like leans in slightly and says, maybe you should catch your breath first. Maybe you should shut up and fall. Anything else, nice. Crumbar? Nice Crumbar. <laughs> um, I was gonna say like, it was a crumbback, but yeah. Nothing else I can really do. Okay, reach. So this guy was on fire. He's had Crumbar try and axe him many times. He's got a bolt of lightning still hitting him, and he's still just kind of standing there, like, with, you know, smirking. I'm going to run up to him. Um, just for the wee change, I'm going to try and punch him. Cool. Still one miss. Yep, that misses. Yeah. yeah. Again, he does that thing where yeah. he, he looks at you and he says, you're getting slower. I am, you know. Mm -hmm. Step away and radiant. And why is it always the second it's, I mean, at least you're hitting though, right? That's, yeah. It's quite a good combo though. He's not quite adapted to that combo yet, has he? <laughs> the, you go in and feign an attack and then hit him. Yeah. <laughs> it's worked every time. <laughs> yeah, you can see a bit more obviously though, like this red thing that he's covered in seems to be taking away most of the impact yeah, of this. So. Yeah. But it does hurt. Like it's, you see it like, you know, sear through a little bit. Um, Enter. Yeah. But why why? Oh. Okay. Get you. Um. I mean, you could just walk up to him, stab him. And shoot him, as per the rules of crossbow <laughs> expert. Well, I guess I'll do that then. It's an option, right? Yo, stabby stabby. Okay. That hasn't shown up, has it? Not yet. That's uh, contagious, oh, is it? Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, that, that doesn't hit. Good dang it, the second one would have been great. <laughs> but you can still make a a crossbow move when it eventually shows up. Yeah, I have clicked it. I mean, you have left draw twenty for me. That should no. I'll lay back. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that definitely hits. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's uh, <laughs> I'm just asked if they're like, hello, <laughs> stab. <laughs> of that, hello, walks up with his knife, he just does that thing where he moves the knife out of the way, looking like, what are you doing, random what elf woman, doing? and then you just like pull the gun out and shoot him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Again, seem to like hit him on the cheek, but like obviously bounces off his amazingly angled cheeks, and also the red shield that seems to be covering him. Uh, but still not bad, not bad. Uh, right, okay. Anything else? Nope. I'll do, <laughs> I guess. Okay, okay. Um, keep in mind, just as a, a point, you've only moved, what, five feet to get to him. Uh, you have your cunning action. So you could use that to disengage, I believe. Is that right? I don't know. Oh, it would say on the cunning oh. action. Uh, oh, I can disengage. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to so run away like a little... So you've Whoop. got, like, what, 30 feet of movement left? So... Yeah. Right? So cunning action to disengage and then move somewhere within 30 feet. <laughs> Apparently my phone thought I was talking to it. It says, I'm going to run away luggage. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, is this like Terry Pratchett's world where you're just speaking to your luggage that's followed behind you? <laughs> I think um, it's because I said the, um, the the Google thing to make uh, it pop up on your phone. That's okay. And then... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Google. I guess it thought I said that, but I didn't. It's obviously just listening anyway. It's, it's one different what happened in the... Always listening. In D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> 
yeah, I, uh, I run away to here, the safe distance, behind some chairs, because we know how invulnerable oh, yeah. they are. Yeah, we, we saw how durable they were. Um, and if you use logic, they're as durable as that book, right? <laughs> right. We thought that was pretty durable. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, right, okay. It kind of looks between like the people that are there. He's obviously still being shot at by uh, all this lightning. And he just kind of confusedly says, Why are you so focused on me? He waits to see if Ender responds. Because you're the one that's here in front of us. Because you took my book. Okay, that screws up his face. He screws up his face and he says, I don't really know what I was expecting from curious individuals such as yourselves. And then um, he says, however, this is um, very dull. And he just looks at Crumber and casts this on him. It's really tough. <laughs> Oh. So he just reaches out, touches Crumbar. Can you no. make a charisma saving throw for me, please? No. You should be decent at this. This is like one of your better stats. Yeah. Charisma. But I know what my luck's like. Poor. Well, right. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. That is. That is a. What he needed? Yeah, no, it's it was a bit higher than what he needed, but I was wondering. That. Yeah, so he reaches out, like, um, kind of points in your direction, doesn't quite make contact with you, um, and then you start speaking this again, this weird tongue, and you see all these kind of like almost like the world's blurring. It's like you stood up too fast, everything goes that bit black, but it's as if you're seeing into some other place, um, where things are coming for you, and obviously you use your force of personality to be like fuck that um, mm. obviously like, you just like keep yourself there so yeah feel free to describe how you manage to like resist the banishment is it the power of the dragon within oh, great I think it's mm -hmm. more so Crumbar is just pissed that he got called a servant mm -hmm. and this idea that somebody's trying to make him go somewhere mm -hmm. he's just like no, like just straight up, just sheer power of will, just that kind of. I am not doing what you tell me. Fuck mm -hmm. you. Yeah, and I think like there, that that look of like you know, after that kind of weird black shadowiness kind of like dissipates from around you, and it's just your gold glowing eyes staring back at him. And yeah. He just kind of looks at you, and he's like, "Huh." With like, his mouth hanging open. Um. Yeah, that's his turnover. Eric. It's uh, a nice bloody save that was, guys. <laughs> it really was. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to stroll to here that's... and uh, just stand behind him and then zap him again. <laughs> so you're like, leading this lightning chain to him? Yeah, just like, aha! I'm tickling you now! What are you using? Which he's, again? He's well, he's not lit... Like, Technically, the bolt of lightning's still been attached to him the whole time since the first time I got it cast. <laughs> um, sure, why not? Yeah, tickling. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to re-roll re that because there's a good chance it will be higher. Um, I don't think you can, right? When you roll damage from a spell, you can spend one sorcery point to re-roll a number of. Yeah, let me read the wording of it. Sorry, so. For a spell, still do damage with the spell. Can we just use another? You can use a powered chance. spell even if you have already used a different meta magic during the casting options. So, can you roll meta magic or like click that ability and not the empowered spell, but like the thing that lets you do this in the first place? When you cast it, yeah. So you can only use it when you've cast the spell. Do I just unleash another like, witch bolt at him? I mean, you've used your action. But you could just recast it. 
next time, yeah? Yeah, good point. Yep. So that's the thing about map magic. It needs to be done on the actual casting. Okay, fair enough. Um, it doesn't just work on every subsequent turn, because that'd be amazing, to be honest, if you could just witch bolt somebody and go, I'll just sorcery point my way to victory here. Uh, that's um, what I thought. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Nah, I knew there would be a wording somewhere that was sadly, sadly not as good as we thought. Um, right. Uh, anything else? Bonus action, anything like that? Any more movement left over? I've got five foot of movement. I don't really want to use my bonus action because it'll expend the spell points. So I'm just going to sit here and tickle them. Okay, yep. But you're still shooting lightning at them, so that's something. Um, a big grin on my face. And my blue eyes. Uh, if I can steal this and move back to the other layer. Let's see if this works. I'm actually not using my hammer either. Um, the ironic thing is, I think that showed up for everybody else, did it? The electricity between the two? Yeah. yeah. It did I not show up it. on my main screen. It did show up on my secondary it screen. Did okay. not show up on me. Oh, the... Lactum bolt. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, got it. Yeah. Well, I can't get rid of that now, so that bag just there forever. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't show up on mine. Um, right. Mm. Uh, Searing Smite take, ticks down. We're back to Crumber. I'm going to refresh my browser. So that maybe it shows up. What's the thoughts, Grumbar? So this guy's trying to banish your ass. Yeah. Well, I still kind of glowing, staring at him after he's just been like, Act oh. still on fire," you know. Yeah, he's like, "Clearly, you have never fought an orc before, and no, you know, um, and no orc is more fierce than me." And I so take before you even I, like before you continue, if that is what you're saying to him, um, clearly you've never fought an orc before. He puts like his yeah. hand up, like his finger up, to correct you. And he's like, actually, but then you can carry on and finish your. Mm -hmm. He's like, actually, and he's like, well, yeah. no orc is as fierce as me. Um, so swing another attack. Yeah, that's. Fuck! Mm -hmm. I, right, okay, so we'll do what happened before, so... Did you see that one? Mm -hmm. The seven? Seven, yeah. Yay, Rally so six. we'll do... Uh, is that a D6? No, that was... That's a D6, yeah, it was yeah. a D6. Sorry, is this because it came up four? I'm like, oh, no, wait, and I'll again... I'll with I'm orange as well. He can be on fire too. I'm going to use my last spell slot. Actually, orange is a terrible colour for this map. Let's just mm. make it red. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my last spell slot, and as Divine Smite comes in, I am going to just yell at him, um, whatever your name is, burn in the hell you love so much. Boom! Not bad. Tell me your name, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's like it takes a beating from this holy, holier than holy burning axe. Um, and then obviously his, his hands kind of went up to like brace against this axe impact. Um, and he kind of looks up at you and he says, I have killed many more orcs, so much more fierce than you. And he points over your shoulder towards all the bones that are piled up around the fire. Shit just got personal. <laughs> yeah, if it was a TV show the camera would zoom away in on one of the, the skulls that has tusks. If it was a TV show. So, reach. Oh, I've got a feeling I all know what I might be doing here. Yeah, I think so too. Go punch ahead, him in the face. I'm going to miss a punch. Oh, do I? No, you hit. Hit? Yeah. Hit. <laughs> Seven damage. Okay, two three seconds because oh. I'm clicking on lightning bolt here. Uh, there we go. Can move this further over towards Eric. There we go. 
And then, yep, so you've done that. And then you just walk Good. back. Move out the way and get radiant. Oh, oh, oh that hits. look at that. It works oh, better when it powers up. <laughs> yeah. Nicely done. Wind's in line, but still. Oh. Hey, it's not terrible though, man. That is not terrible. It's that not. is a distinctly average roll, which is decent <laughs> for a crit. Um, not bad, man, not bad. Cool. So the I'll trick is to crit end. with the second part if you hit with the first part, it seems. Yeah. Not bad. So. Uh, right. KT. Well. Uh, End stab, doing... shoot, disengage, yeah, walk away. Much. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hello. Not the only predictable one. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it hits. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. I, I, I like where those like, you know, I'm absolutely trying to like fuck him up with his magically infused axe and Eric's kind of got him on this lightning leech and uh, Reach is kind of coming in and absolutely giving him what for. Kitty just comes up and goes, hee hee, <laughs> and runs away. <laughs> no, but she's like, she is the John Wick close up fighter though, where she's stabbing him and shooting him. Right. I do better for close combat than I do from when I'm shooting from far away. You really do. But then you're designed to be better at that as well now. Um, right, let me see what happens on this. Right, okay, so the the stab of the knife, also you cannot do that just so you know. So he's going to get a free attack on you. Oh. Yeah, because... You didn't say you were disengaging, but you don't have that much movement. So to move that much, you'd have to not have oh. disengaged. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my connection yeah. to the server's been interrupted. Am I still moving on the screen now? Like I moved back to be next to him. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, my dear. Oh. So, first of all, I need to work out the damage you've done. So, see when we're doing attacks, I want you to do the attack and the damage, not Attack, oh, attack, okay. attack, attack, damage, right? Just for my own tracking, but I, I had to look at the modifiers, it's fine. Um, let's see what we've got. So it was six damage from the dagger and four from the crossbow, is that right? Yeah. Cool. So it seems like it takes the full six from the dagger. And only half from the crossbow. Cool. Then, you go to move away. So as you move away, he's going to have a go. With advantage? Is that? Oh no, that's just right. Nah, it's just the first number. Yeah. Five damage as he slices you with a dagger that appears in his hand as he cuts you in the back. Oh. <clears throat> hey, that could have been worse, that could have been the, the crit. What a peanut. And then you can go back to there. Because your cunning action can be used as a dash or the disengage. It can't be both. And you'd use 20 feet to get to him. So you only have 15 feet to get away. Ah. Uh. Yep. Well. Yep. If you're ever in doubt, just always say to me, How do I do this with what I can do? <laughs> Uh, right. Uh, anything else you can do? I think that was your your, no. your allotment, quite frankly. Yep. Uh, right, this guy, he's going to make a con save and hope he doesn't keep burning. Uh, what was the DC, Grumbar? Um, sure. On my spells. Your spell save DC, yeah. Uh, 12. Cool. So he makes that so he, has, he does not burn. So he just does his same breathing control exercises. And he stops burning. Still being shot by lightning, though he doesn't seem to be too fast about that. Not much you can do about that yet. Um, no, I mean, take what you can get. Right. Um, and he just stands there. You can see him, like, feeling the wound where you stabbed him. Uh, as he puts his hand up against it, using, like, all the fire he breathes in to cauterize it. And then just looks up at you, Kitty, and growls. Um, <laughs> and then pulls up his other hand and like around it swirls all this kind of like red crackly energy 
and then like the tips of his fingers glow and fires these darts towards you and he wow. is going to do a magic missile how dare he that's mine that's one a uh, do you have the shield spell no it's okay then he's hit so this is one two three four there you go and for those of you asking why he's cast it at level two um yeah so whatever that is total in force damage is that nine sixteen fourteen i got fourteen did that count wrong probably 14. Like wrong. yeah fourteen yeah fourteen damage force damage as these like red kind of almost like sharp teeth fly out of his nails um, kind of red bolts of energy streak straight towards you you can tell it's because the stab that you hit him with like seemed to go through his weird stony skin <laughs> he did not like that um, but yeah that's his goal Eric I'm going to pull my hand down and stop my spell Okay, and now that I've refreshed my browser, I actually can do that. Now I'm going to lift my hammer up and point it at him and fire a second witch bolt. Please hit. Cool. Oh yeah, it's level 2 by the way. Curly counter spell. Whoa! No! No! <laughs> Cool. So as you go to do that, you lift the hammer, the hammer starts glowing red and starts crackling with electricity. He does that thing where the camera zooms in his eyes and he looks to the side where you are and he holds his fingers up and just clicks. And your yeah, hammer well, just... Clits against him. And he just <laughs> stops it. Do you want to roll what the damage could have been? No. <laughs> so, uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see what you could have Just done. Just so she's aware though, what a that bastard. is that was his reaction to do that. So nine twenty seven. Wow. And I was I I would probably re roll that free as well. And a uh, higher level cast? Yeah. Yep, so that does use your spell slot as well, by the way. Yeah, I know, I've already, I've already ticked off. That's why counter spell is such a dick move. But why why wouldn't you when you can, right? Why wouldn't you when mm. you can? Third level spell at least, right? Mm -hmm. It is at least a third level spell, but you've seen them cast sixth level magic, so... Actually, if yeah. you count teleport, you've seen them cast seventh level magic, so... Yeah. This dude's powerful. I mean, he is ripping He's holes... He's just toy in, He is ripping holes in hell. Um, right, and I think with that nice kind of clicking of the fingers as he smirks at you, and he just says, Not this time, sorcerer. Um the round obviously goes round and we'll take our break here and um, so we'll come back in 10 minutes uh, goodbye everybody who was listening uh, we'll see you in 10 minutes bye bye, bye. bye. ciao for now